Hey friends, in this video, I'm gonna be making some yolk waffles. This is a recipe that I saw, I don't know, maybe a year or so ago from Carnivore Yogi originally. I don't know if it was her original recipe or not, but that's where I first saw it. And then of course it has been made popular in the last couple of months by Amy at Carnivore's Angel. I'm gonna start separating my yolks and my whites and try to chat while I do it. I'm gonna be doing three recipes worth and each recipe calls for four egg yolks. So that's gonna leave me with 12 whites, which is a perfect amount for making a loaf of egg white bread. So I think it's gonna work out great. So when I first saw this recipe from Carnivore Yogi, I actually tried it way back then. And I do not know what I did wrong at that point, but I did not care for it at all. For some reason, it tasted like just hard boiled yolks to me and it was really bad. And I, now I just seriously wonder what I did wrong because I finally tried it again after everyone had been talking about how amazing it was. And um, it was delicious and did not taste like hard boiled yolks at all. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I did wrong, but I'm excited because it's a great way to use up leftover egg yolks. And I love a diet that supports eating whole foods. You don't have to eat them all in the same meal, but to be able to have egg white bread and then have yolk waffles at another meal, you're consuming the whole food. And I just think that is a positive thing. So I'm super excited about this recipe and being able to, um, just use up all of those yolks. So we have our own chickens and we have some smaller eggs and we have some larger eggs. So I'm trying to kind of distribute the smaller yolks and the larger yolks so it's pretty even. I am using the shell to separate out the whites instead of my separator here. And that's just because we have some really large eggs that overflow my separator. It doesn't work for something like this. So I've kind of just started using the shell, but then I also have it sitting here just in case something falls through. <gasps> that one was a double yolk. I didn't even realize it. It wasn't as massive as the double yolks usually are. Well, it's, um, they're pretty small, so I'll just throw them in as one. How exciting. I am gonna be doing three flavors today. And as written, the recipe is great for plain waffles. If you're wanting to use these for like a sandwich, for sandwich bread, or if you're gonna to be topping them with syrup and whipped cream or butter or whatever, um, just the plain is really good. But of course, I always like to experiment with things. And so I decided to try out doing these with uh, perfect keto MCT oil powder and collagen powder. You guys know I love both of those and I love all of their flavors. I do have a promotion going on right now with Perfect Keto. Um, so if you're watching this or soon after the video was posted, you can get 30% off of all of their keto collagens and the MCT oil powders and the cereal. I'll have all of the details for that promotion down in the description below. I love using their different flavored powders in my baking. And so of course I had to try the yolk waffles with some of them and um, I liked they both work, both the collagen and the MCT oil powder both work. I think I like the MCT oil powder a little bit better. The recipe as is, is um, very light and airy. When you add the MCT oil powder, it gives more of a bready texture and it's just like a little bit denser. And then of course you get a little bit of the flavor and the little bit of sweetness that's in the MCT oil powder. The flavor doesn't come through super strongly. It's just more like a hint, but I really liked it. And I also found that I really liked the leftover waffles in the fridge. Um, like the next day, just pull out one and eat it. It was delicious. I'm gonna put this away for an egg white bread loaf later. I'm gonna be cooking these on our very well-loved mini dash waffle maker. I'm just getting this preheated. The original recipe is super duper simple. Just four egg yolks, one tablespoon of melted butter, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and then a pinch of salt. The only change I'm making to the base recipe is I'm omitting the salt because the MCT oil powders 
have a little bit of salt in there and so I just didn't need that extra. I'm gonna do strawberry. You guys know I love the strawberry MCT oil powder and I added, when I was testing this out, I added some of the freeze-dried strawberry crumbles and so they turned out really good. I'm going to do a cinnamon toast version and I'm just gonna add a little bit extra cinnamon to intensify the cinnamon flavor and then I'm gonna do a chocolate chip waffle with some vanilla MCT oil powder and some Good Sam mini chocolate chips. So let's see, I'll start with the cinnamon, I guess. Do our half teaspoon of baking powder. Just a dash of cinnamon and one scoop of the cinnamon toast MCT oil powder. One recipe makes about three of the mini dash waffles. The cinnamon smells so good. And I think the cinnamon toast flavor has a little bit of a butteriness to it. I think that makes, makes it the cinnamon toast flavor rather than just cinnamon. And it's quite delicious. So that's ready to go and I think my, um, Waffle maker is preheated, so I'm gonna get these started. I'm gonna try to get about a third on there. Don't wanna overflow it. And they usually cook for one to two minutes. That's looking pretty good. Beautiful. Now we'll do the strawberry. Got our half teaspoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of melted butter, one scoop of the strawberry powder, and just to give it that extra flavor kick, just like I did with my cheesecakes that you guys have already seen, I'm gonna add in just about a tablespoon of the strawberry, freeze-dried strawberry crumbles, and that just adds just a little another kick of flavor and color. It's really, really good. I love how simple this recipe is, super easy. I wish that the light pink color <laughs> stayed around from the strawberry MCT oil powder, but of course the yolks are so incredibly orange that it ends up orange. Last one is gonna be the chocolate chip using the vanilla MCT oil powder. Doing my half teaspoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of melted butter, one scoop of MCT oil powder. And should we do a tablespoon? I think a tablespoon will probably be enough of the chocolate chips. Uh, yeah, I don't wanna to do too much. I'll do a tablespoon and a half. There we go. So about half a tablespoon of chocolate chips for each waffle. The batter, when it's all mixed up, it reminds me of Cheese Whiz. These yolks are so incredibly yellow that it almost looks unnatural. Aren't these just the cutest little waffles you've ever seen? I think they look so perfect. And I don't think anyone could tell, at least by looking at them, that they're not regular waffles. So these are the strawberry ones. These are the cinnamon ones. And then these, of course, are the chocolate chip. Let me show you a little bit of the inside texture here. I think the MCT oil powder just makes it a little bit denser and gives it a really nice inside texture. And even though it is a little bit denser, it's still they still taste delicious straight from the fridge. Um, that's actually my favorite way to eat them. I think the flavors intensify more after they've been refrigerated and just eating them cold. That makes the flavor really, really good. And I love just being able to grab a quick thing out of the fridge if I need something. So I love making a big batch. I have tried these with the other flavors of MCT oil powder and they're all good. You can't go wrong. You could do like a chocolate chocolate chip with the chocolate MCT oil powder. That would be really good. I tried the salted caramel. That was yummy as well. If you made some kind of a 
car allulose caramel sauce, which is actually super easy to do. You could drizzle a salted caramel with caramel sauce and have it with whipped cream. It would be amazing. The strawberry ones would make a perfect strawberry shortcake base for sure. Strawberries and whipped cream on top would be amazing. So that is my take on the egg yolk waffles. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to head down in the description below and get info on how you can get discounts on the MCT oil powder, the collagen powder, and the cereal from Perfect Keto. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.